I'm telling you, you can't, man. All right, so you know, we're I, just. I barely passed with the D last <laughs> college prep. Oh, heck no. You're going to be fine. <laughs> All right, three different formulas distance between two points, midpoint between two points, and Pythagorean theorem. All of these could typically end up, especially distance of Pythagorean theorem with a square root. And that's kind of what we've been working with. So, distance between two points. Let's say we have two points on a graph, negative three, two, and we'll go five, negative one, just make up two points there. Okay? Worst part is gonna be the negatives that get us sometimes. So distance equals square root. This just means the second x and the first x, the second y and the first y. Subscripts just mean first, second, whatever. Okay? So second x, 5, minus negative 3. So second minus first squared plus... Second y is negative 1 minus 2 squared. So second y minus first y squared. And then the rest of it is just simplifying. So the computation part isn't too bad. The negatives give you a fit. you got a calculator. So we're going to have 5 minus negative 3 is 8. So we'd have 8 squared. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. So that would give us, let's see, 64 and 9 is 73. Here's my distance, square root of 73. Not too bad. So if the square root simplifies, we'll simplify it. If it doesn't, decimals are fine. But there's also nothing wrong with root 73. Let's do another one. Let's go negative 7, 0. Negative 4, 3. So we'll start with the difference in our x's. Negative 4 minus negative 7 squared. So I did second x minus first one. Plus 3 minus 0 squared. Second y minus first one. The rest is just simplifying. So let's see, negative 4 minus the negative 7, that's a positive 3. 3 minus 0 is also a positive 3. So I got 3 squared plus 3 squared is square root of 18. Too bad there. This one does simplify to 3 root 2. We want to simplify the radicals. So this is going back to that last year. we got to simplify the radicals. I wouldn't care if you got a decimal. But to review how we simplified it, remember we just make that 9 times 2. And so the square root of 9 was 3. 2 still in. Most of the calculators will simplify them too. Yeah. So... That calculator you've got, if you typed in square root 18, I bet it tells you 3 root 2, yeah. which is fine. Okay, distance formula. Yep. All right. Midpoint. Midpoint between two values. We're just going to have two points on a grid, and we're going, all right, hey, what's that middle point going to be? Just trying to find the middle. That's what we're looking for. So let's get a couple points here. Let's go 5, 7, and negative 3, 4, and we go get that midpoint. The way I remember midpoint is I think of it as an average. You're adding the 2, dividing by 2, so I'm averaging the x's. Adding the 2, divided by 2, I'm averaging the y's. Right, since there's two points to do an average, I'd add them up, divide by 2. So I'm trying to find that middle. So my midpoint would be 5 plus negative 3, sum of my x is over 2, 7 plus 4 over 2, sum of my y is over 2. 
So let's see, negative five, not negative five, positive five plus negative three is two. Two over two is one. And then I've got 11 halves. I, there's not really gonna simplify there with 11 halves, seven plus four is 11. So it's 11 halves is fine. 5.5 is fine. Five and a half is fine. You know, we're gonna have fractions that simplify and some that don't. The worst part that gets us generally is if we see a bunch of negatives, because the negatives kind of give us a fit. Let's do something like this. Negative three, negative two. Zero, negative eight. So I'm still for the midpoint. I'm gonna average my X's, average my Y's. So midpoint. Negative three plus zero over two. Add up my X's, divide by two. The Y's, negative two plus negative eight, divided by two. Add up my Y's, divide by two. So this will give me negative three halves on the first one. And again, decimal's fine. This would be negative 10. Negative two plus negative eight is negative 10, divided by two is negative five. There's my midpoint. Pythagorean theorem. This had to do with the right triangle. If you had a right triangle. The legs were what we called A and B. It doesn't matter which one's A and which one's B because you're adding. Okay? So A squared plus B squared would be the same as B squared plus A squared. What does matter is I have to know where C is. C was the hypotenuse, the right triangle. So this one should be a little bit more of a familiar formula. Probably done this one a little bit more than you did distance or midpoint. So the key is I've got to make sure I got this guy right. So let's get a triangle here. Let's go and Flip it around the other way. Let's do something like this. I'm going to go 12. And we'll go 5. Something like that. We'll put an X there. So I've got to make sure I know which one's the hypotenuse. So the triangles get flipped all around, but I know the hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. So in this case, the hypotenuse is 12. So that means the C value is 12. That makes the five and the X, the legs. So there are the A and B, and it doesn't matter which one you put first. So if I wrote it five first, five squared plus X squared is 12 squared, and then I can solve for X. So five squared is 25. 12 squared is 144. Subtract the 25 over, uh, what is that, 119? And then square root x would be the square root of 119. So there's where we're coming back into that square root. We can simplify it, we can, or we will. Decimals are fine. Root 119, since it doesn't simplify, is fine. We've got to find the hypotenuse first. Let's do this. Let's go x, 10, 2. This time the hypotenuse is the X. Across from that right angle, hypotenuse is X. So I'm going to have two squared plus 10 squared. Again, it doesn't matter what order those two are in because you're adding. Okay. I've got to make sure I have the hypotenuse in the right place and that's X this time so it's on the right side. Let's see, so that would be four plus 100. X squared, so that's 104. And then I can square root that. So X would be the square root of 104. And this one's one that does simplify. 
That'd be four and twenty-six. Two. Yeah. Yeah. So two root twenty-six. There you go. So again, if I can simplify, I'll simplify. Too bad there.